Chair found it. How? He sat up stuffing. How? Watch this. Some butter. Quite a lot of butter. Gonna need that for stuffing. Chopped up onions, chop them up fine. Yeah. Mm. Measure out how much you will need for the thing. Gonna cook that till the onions go a bit see through. So you can sort of see through the onion, they're not white anymore. They call their translucent. Free. Hey, Kupu Ho. Timmy, to a tie, hold on to a ring a ring. Wash your hands first, though. Your boy washed his like twice. Yeah. You don't want to turn it up too high and you don't want to make your onions brown, so yeah. Keep it on a bit of a medium heat when you're doing this, I suppose. Smashing a little bit of salt and pepper. I like using the old cracked pepper here. Got a bit of a salt and pepper mix in this. Just give it a bit of a hit, a bit of a season. Add in your breadcrumbs. You just dry up some bread, put them on the rack in the oven on grill on like 50 or 100. Real low anyway, you're not making toast, you just want them to dry right up. Do it slowly and break crumbs. The secret ingredient, mixed herbs. Yeah. Slam some of this in. I don't know, about a tablespoon for the amount I've got, I suppose. Freeze out of, off the cuff in the freezer gunner. Yeah. Oh, my measurement sucks. You smell it straight away. Bring it back on the heat a little bit. This helps keep that butter sort of soft. I'm gonna mix it in good. Oh, you can smell the stuff. Here. Some people put some veggies up in those too. Eh? I'm just adding a bit more of the mix too. I like mine quite strong. I know. Getting net. Don't know if you can see that. Oh. Getting net. Yeah. Now I want to add some milk till it sort of just it sticks together but can still fall apart. I don't know what that's called. Not too much, you don't want it soggy. And if you do put too much in, just smash some more breadcrumbs in, I suppose, fix them up. That's what it looks like. Oh, I've got to make sure you can see. But yeah, see? Sticks together, but then it's still, you know, it's not that wet that it sticks like Play-Doh. So yeah, that's all stuffing. There's everything I want to have in my hangi. Kumaro, pumpkin, potato, a few carrots, the cabbage. Got our meat. Chicken, what are these? Lamb and pork underneath there. My first lamb, I'm gonna slam down a bit of cabbage. I'm gonna peel off some leaves. Always wash all your veggies too, you don't know what the deer is doing to your veggies, so I'll make sure to wash everything straight up. I don't trust nothing from out of there. I've been in the dairies and they were spraying fly spray around the veggies and stuff straight up. Now that cabbage will help lift everything up off the ground too because you want a little bit of water at the bottom of the sangi so that it steams up. You don't want so much water that it's sitting in it like a boil up. You know, it's a real fine line between too much water and not enough kind of thing. Everything's wet already as you put it in, like a quarter a cup of water. I'll show you as we get there. I put a layer of tinfoil down first. It just stops the um, cabbage at the bottom burning too quick. Like, 
the tinfoil sort of soaks up a bit of the heat eh? tinfoil doesn't let it really get too hot too quick I'm gonna put that down I'm gonna put down a layer of the cabbage it's pretty much a layer of ca cabbage I don't know if you can see that then I'm gonna grab my pork now I'm gonna put these big pork pieces like that eh? like a gap in between each one like that and then what I'll do is take the stuffing and place it in between the gap of that, like in balls. So yep, you get your stuffing, shape it into a bit of a loose ball and I'm putting it between those pork chops. So now I've got the chops, a couple of balls of stuffing on top of a cabbage, layer of cabbage. Now I'm going to grab my lamb chops, spreading them out. I'm using a pretty flat dish because hey, how much people got these deep fucking dishes for hangies like you see on other videos? They always seem to have the gears that you don't have in yours. So I'm just using a roasting dish. Now I'm going to take the chicken. I'm going to slam that in there. Again, spreading it out. Hey, you want all the flavours even. And I'm going to take all my kumaras, pumpkin, potatoes and carrots and spread them around what that looks like that's what it looks like my stuffing's under here See? then I want to get my salt and pepper and give it one more hit now remember what I said about the water it's important as but don't put too much in because you'll end up with it swimming in water and it'll ruin your stuffing and everything so like a quarter cup, just not much okay. not much, I won't even put all that in probably but yeah sort of wet it up all the juices will make some steam as well you want this for the steam really see, still a tiny bit in my glass I don't want to use all of it and cover it with cabbage Try and cover all the gaps to help hold the steam in it. I don't know, this will feed probably two hungry airs breathers or small, I don't know. If you're a bit of a polite eater, it might feed three or four of you. But where I'm from, probably only do two. That's why everyone's huge. I'm the skinniest fella in Tokyo. They are 15 year olds with bloody bodies. You know, my whole body's the size of the arm. Big boys. Watch up. Here it is. Don't waste any of your cabbage, you might as well throw it in. It'll all sort of melt down and. Yeah. Done. Now just lay it. What she looks like when she's covered. Hey. Hey. Yeah. That's gonna hold all that steam in and cook the koi for us. So into the oven on like 220 for like an hour, then drop it down to 180 for another three hours. The longer you leave it, the better. Just keep an eye on it, don't burn the old cabbage anywhere. You can smell when it's burning. You want it to burn a little bit, gives it a bit more of that hungry flavour. Hey. You stop, it's into the oven, shows you when it's done. Oh. Now you can let that sit for a bit too, but you know how it is. Hungry, much. It's been a few hours. Pretty steam. Can't smell any burning smell. It's the work. 
и And if you have a bit of a closer squiz down in there, have a look down there, you'll notice it's not swimming in water, you know, it's not pooling up. There was just enough water in there to kind of steam it, not a boiler. Pull some of that to the side. It's our chicken, yeah, kumaras are nice and cooked. Look at that, easy break. Nice. This is our chicken, it's falling off the bone. That's a good sign. Our meat down the bottom, our stuffing. The stuffing's there. Yeah, good stuff. Winning. East side, hangi, in the oven. Yeah. Yeah. Came out mean, finally. Yeah. That's how we do. Eastside, salute. Yeah.